English chapter number 7 glimpses of India part 1 a baker from Goa a baker from Goa is written by Lucio Rodriguez and is a pen portrait of a traditional Goan village baker it took us back to the good old Portuguese days the Portuguese and their famous loaves of bread the furnaces still exist and the jingling sound of the bamboo staff can still be heard in some places of Goa even today these bakers are known as Pader in Goa the poet also tells us about his childhood in Goa the baker used to be their friend the he used to come at least twice in a day, once in the morning and then coming back. The baker made his musical entrance on the scene with the jang jang sound. One hand supported the basket on his head and the other banged the bamboo on the ground. The baker sold loaf for elder and some bangles for children. There were also some particular dishes of bread at some particular events. For example, on the occasion of her daughter wedding, the lady of the house must prepare sandwiches. And marriage gifts are meaningless without the sweet bread known as bowl. Cakes and bolinhas are must for Christmas as well as other festivals. Thus, the presence of baker's furnace in the village is absolutely essential. The writer also tells us about the management and the dressing sense of the baker. The baker of those days had a peculiar dress known as kabai. It was a single piece of long frock reaching down to the knees. In writer's childhood, they saw bakers wearing a shirt and trousers which were shorter than full length and longer than half pants. The baker usually collected his bills at the end of the month. The monthly accounts used to be recorded on the corner of the wall by a pencil. Baking was indeed a profitable profession in the good old days. He, his family and his servant always look happy and prosperous. Their plum physic was an open testimony to this. Even today, any person with a jackfruit-like physical appearance is easily compared to the baker.